these two YouTube channels have absolutely blown up. Going from zero to 400,000 subscribers in less than a year, they are telling stories about historical figures, making use of the power of AI image generation to capture the attention of millions, myself included, while also making a ton of money. So in this video, I will walk you step by step by the new upgraded process of creating such shorts. I included a bunch of tips and tricks throughout the video, so don't skip if you don't want to miss out. So let's get right into it. First, let's head over to ChatGPT to generate our script. Let's use the following prompt. Generate a short and engaging story about a fact of ancient war for a 30 second YouTube short video. Write it in simple, plain English. We want him to write it in easy to understand English so that our video has as big of a reach as possible. And as we can see, Chat came up with a good story, but it's just a bit too long, so I'm going to ask him to make it shorter. That's much better. Now since we're going to generate images soon for our short, let's ask him to give us prompts for those images. I will ask him to come up with a prompt for Leonardo AI for each sentence of the story. That way, we won't have to waste time coming up with image ideas and prompts. And now that the prompts are ready, let's copy the first one and head over to Leonardo AI where we will generate images. You can access it with the link in the description and receive 150 free tokens daily. Now let's head over to image generation and paste in our first prompt. Make sure to select the number of images to one or two so that you don't use up all of your tokens. The more images you want to generate at once, the more tokens you will be charged for that generation. This first image we will generate in the Leonardo Kino XL model and see what it looks like. That looks good, but I think we can do better than that. So let's head back to ChatGPT and ask him to generate some more detailed prompts. In the meantime, let's also switch the model we will be generating with. Instead of Kino XL, and let's go for Leonardo Diffusion XL, which is known to be one of the best models on the platform. So then let's copy one of the new prompts and run it with Leonardo. I think that's more of a vibe that we're going for. So let's use this model for the rest of our generations. Now let's generate all of the remaining images keeping in mind the amount of tokens you have left. I would recommend upgrading your account if you are serious about making AI-generated shorts consistently. And now that we have all of our images generated, let's download them one by one and go on to the next step, which is adding motion. From the main tab in Leonardo, select the motion tab. This feature is still fairly new to the platform, but it works surprisingly well. Here we can select an image that we want to add motion to, and we can go to your generations tab to access all of the images we just created. Once we got the first image selected, we will be able to choose the amount of motion we want to add with this slider. The ideal is somewhere between four and six. The more you add, the weirder it might get. And keep in mind that adding motion is significantly more costly than generating images, priced at 25 tokens per generation. We will see the generation once it's finished in the generation history tab. As we can see, it made the sky move, which looks really realistic. So let's add motion to another image this time putting the slider at 6 instead of 5. Now we got a nice pan action going on. The sides are getting a bit distorted and wavy, but I think that's good enough. Let's follow through with the remaining images, one of which we won't be able to use because it just became one big mess. But that's okay. We can still use the still version of that image. Next up, we will need to generate a voiceover for our short. To do that, we will head over to Eleven Labs, which is home to all of the AI voices we know and love including mine. You can access it with the link in the description. To start, we will click on the Explore tab under Voices where we will be able to find a voice that suits our needs. I'm looking for a deep and mysterious voice for this short. Once you find one that you like, simply add it to Voice Lab. Here are some of the best deep voices you can use for such shorts. Feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot. Once we got the voice added to the lab, Let's head to the Speech tab and paste in our script from ChatGPT. Then select the voice that you just added. I am going to go with Arnold. Also, don't worry about the Voice Settings tab because the majority of the time you don't need to tweak those to get a great generation. Let's see what Arnold cooked up for us. Over 3,500 years ago in Greece, 300 Spartan warriors, led by King Leonidas, faced a massive Persian army at the Battle of Thermopylae. Despite being hugely outnumbered, they chose a narrow pass for their stand, using the terrain to their advantage. For three days, they fought with unmatched bravery, holding off the Persians, 
to protect their homeland. Their sacrifice became legendary, inspiring Greece to unite against the Persians and ultimately secure victory. That's good. Remember to always listen to the entire generation before downloading to check for potential mistakes. Next up, it's time to get our hands dirty with some editing. To do that, we will use CapCut, which is a beginner-friendly editing software with plenty of ready-to-use elements. To get started, let's open up a new project. Then we're going to go to the Media tab and upload all of the generated images and videos along with the voiceover. Once they're uploaded, drag and drop all of the elements onto the timeline, starting with the voiceover. Then, we will need to make sure that all of the images and videos appear in chronological order and are synced with the voiceover. But as you can see, the voiceover is longer than the amount of visuals we have, so we need to extend the duration of one of the clips. To do that, click on the video and head over to the Speed tab on the right-hand side. We can reduce the speed from 1.0 to 0.8. Now that we have the visuals and the voiceover synced, we can start adding some animations. After you select a clip, click on the Animation tab, and here there are three different animation styles to choose from. In, Out, and Combo. For the opening clip, we're going to go for the Zoom 1 animation from the In tab and set the motion duration to 4 seconds. By doing that, we will make the zoom out last 4 seconds and we will set every animation to about 4 seconds to get this cinematic look. For the next clip, I'm going to select Mini Zoom from Out tab, also setting it to 4 seconds. I won't bore you with every animation I'm going to be adding. So here's a quick recap of what animations I used. Third clip Mini Zoom from the Out tab. Fourth clip No Animation. Fifth clip Wobble Animation from Combo tab. And sixth clip Wobble as well. Next, it would be nice to make the footage more engaging and pleasant to look at. And we're going to do that with the use of overlay effects. So let's head over to the Effects tab. For the first clip, I'm going to go with the Fireplace effect. You can either click on it or simply drag and drop it onto the timeline. Make sure that the effect lasts for the entirety of the clip you're putting it on. Then for the rest of the clips, I'll choose effects from the nature section. For the second clip, I'm going with the smog effect. It works as a mysterious transition as well. For the third one, I'm choosing dust because it looks like the dust from an army marching. For the fourth clip, I will choose the steam effect since it resembles clouds flowing through mountains. For the fifth and sixth, we will need something energetic since these are the battle scenes. So we're going to go with thunder and fire. And then lastly, for the last clip, we're going to go with the firefly effect to enhance the peaceful shot of a sunset. Now it's time to make our clip more immersive from the audio standpoint, so we will add some sound effects and music. To do that, let's go to the audio tab and select sound effects. Here we have plenty of free to use sound effects. So let's go over each effect we added to the clips and add a sound to match that effect. For the fire clip, let's add a crackling sound effect. And since we also have a fire effect in the battle shot later on, we can right-click on that sound effect and choose Split, then adjusting the length so that it covers both of the clips where we have fire. We will do the same for the clips of troops marching. Let's add a marching army sound effect, split it, and adjust it to both of the clips. For the fighting scene, I couldn't find good audio that resembled a medieval sword fight so I headed over to Pixabay, where you can download royalty-free sound effects, and I found Vikings in battle sound which works perfectly well here. Then. We're going to need some music in the background, so let's search for some dramatic music and drag and drop it underneath all of the sound effects. Then comes an important step that you cannot forget about. We need to lower the volume on all of the sounds except for the voiceover. So let's go into each sound effect separately and switch the volume from 0 to minus 8, and for the music we can use minus 10. Once that's done, the last step is to add captions. So head over to the Captions tab and select Auto Captions. Then click on one of the orange blocks, drag the text into the middle, and resize it so that it's easily visible. You can choose the captions from one of the presets or make them yourself from scratch. I'm going to go with one of the presets. Also, make sure that the captions are not stretching out of bounds of the video. If they are, adjust them. Once we got the captions finished, we're done so we can export the video and download it. Here is the finished product. Over 2,500 years ago in Greece, 300 Spartan warriors, led by King Leonidas, faced a massive Persian army at the Battle of Thermopylae. Despite being hugely outnumbered, they chose a narrow pass for their stand, using the terrain to their advantage. 
For three days, they fought with unmatched bravery, holding off the Persians to protect their homeland. Their sacrifice became legendary, inspiring Greece to unite against the Persians and ultimately secure victory. Thank you for watching. Smash like and subscribe if you enjoyed.